Kevin Hooker with Word Relay Services, and today we are with Joseph and Dylan uh, of Rupal Home Inspections, and we're talking about uh, radon testing, why you should get it, uh, the cost of it, and what you do to to get rid of it if you find it in your home. Um, what is what is radon? I mean, what's so, the, what's the thing? <laughs> so radon is an odorless, tasteless gas uh -huh. um, that emits from the ground through HVAC, plumbing fixtures, uh, sump pumps are pretty notorious for it. Um, it's the second leading cause of lung cancer, so it is a serious thing. Um, we have great limestone caves in the southern Indiana, Kentucky region, so it's very notorious for this region to have higher radon than what you might find in other areas of the country. Mm -hmm. okay. Radon is a health issue uh -huh. and so it's the EPA recommends testing every house okay. there's two types of houses that do not have to worry about radon mm -hmm. and one would be a houseboat and the other would be a tree house right any type of house that's built on the ground the potential is for radon to come out winter is a better time to check because you get the thermal stack effect it means as the heat rises it actually pulls the gases out of the ground and it kind of diffuses through the crawls but uh, through in through the slab into the lower level and the basements and as well as slabs or okay. the houses on crawl spaces. Okay. So what what how do we deal with it? We find it well or or let's back up for a second. How do you do the testing of it? So whenever um, we test for radon, uh, we'll come in, we have our units that will sit. Um, we normally put indicators saying that there is a radon test in progress because outside air can somewhat sometimes dilute okay. on the test, which we can see whenever we read it. Um, but what it essentially does is it sits for 48 hours, um, then gives an average. Um, if the if the average of that test is over four, we will recommend mitigation. Um, if it's anything under four, we will say that the EPA. Um, EPA number is okay. Mm -hmm. um, if it's between 2.5 and 4, most of the time we will highly suggest consider, yeah, consider, consider yeah. Um, that you do a mitigation system just because some of the times, just because at 2 or 3 o'clock it's at 1.3, some of the times it might be closer to 5. Okay. Um, so anywhere around that area, um, especially if they're doing um, renovations to their house, it's a great time to mm -hmm. have. Um, it tested just because, um, like in my sister's instance, she put a new sump pump in. Whenever she bought the house, it mm -hmm. was under the EPA level. Tested it again, it's at 11. So it just something like that can completely um, change the uh, rate on. Okay. So just cutting a, a hole in the floor for the, the sump pump in the well and everything can yes, and allow that to come into the house. Yes, sir. Okay. What about cracks in the floor? Is that another? Something we want to watch for? Anything, anything. As a homeowner? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anything that can open up the sub slab depressurization. Um, mm -hmm. Just because radon's really funny, um, it's it'll try to, it's almost like water. As soon as it finds a little area to go into, that's where it'll emit from. Okay. okay. And it's easily mitigated. Mitigation is the way to remove uh -huh. the radon once they find it. We test for the house if you've come up high. Uh, the testing equipment or the test, re the um, installation removal equipment ranges about eight hundred to three, four thousand dollars, depending on what happens. Mm -hmm. It's very easily mitigated, and what that mitigation is called, it's uh, it has a pipe, looks like a soil pipe. Okay. PVC about four inches goes into the concrete, and it depressurizes the soil below the slab, and it takes it up outside. Okay. The uh, inside, you've got like a, we call it a little J2 manometer, I believe is the proper term. Um, that is either got red liquid or blue liquid in it, but it should be in the shape of a J. That tells us the fan is wrong. If it's in the shape of a U, the fan is off. Okay. Something is wrong. Okay. Could be the circuit, could be the fan. But you want to make sure, and then what it does is it takes the, the soil, um, uh, it takes the gases from below the soil and takes it outside. Mm -hmm. And then you want to make sure that the termination point is away from any openable window. 
because you don't want that to come back into the house. Okay. And who, who installs something like that? That would be a radon mitigation company. And what they'll, they are licensed, uh -huh. and they need to, as well, once they put that pipe on, they should put their tag with their identification numbers and a phone number. Okay. So if they ever think the equipment is not working properly, they can come back out and make the major repairs. Sure. The EPA recommends testing every house, and even after you test the house, they recommend testing every four to five years. After. Every four to five years. Okay. okay. So we've covered what it is. We've covered cost and, and how, we're going to, how we're going to get rid of it um, and the frequency of testing. Uh, is there anything else that... that that covers it. Yeah. So basically, slab or crawl space. They're also yeah. considered. Yeah. And we have found it as high as uh, like a second floor condo unit. Uh huh. Um, it came into their, and they, what they traced it down was that it was actually coming in that, that condo with the HEAC and the dryer and different types of okay. exhaust fans mm -hmm. and it's pulling the right on the bottom of the basement through into the through the uh, pipe chase. Okay. So all the plumbing and it's and kind of spreading into, that it out. Out. into that house. Okay. Into that unit. And then you were saying earlier as warm air rises, like we know, it will it will also bring the radon with it. It's called a thermal stack effect. Okay. Yes sir. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And it's very easily tested. I mean for we our cost would be hundred and forty seven dollars. And then they can also have the system installed. Mm -hmm. What's the system usually? The system right. runs between eight hundred and fifty to three or four thousand dollars. Okay. Just to kind of depend on the size of the house. Size and complexity. Okay. If it's a simple like a basement, they would just put one suction point, take it outside. Um, the great thing about they could be done in new construction, mm -hmm. and the new construction process, as part of the forms for the footing. It looks like a two by six it kind of runs all the way around the house, okay. which is very good because it will draw and it goes up inside the house. So you will not even see a pipe. Okay. The fan must be in an uninhabited area. It can't be in a basement or can't be in the living quarters. So it could be in the garage, it could be outside, or it could be in the attic. Okay. That way, if the fan disconnects, mm -hmm. you're not pumping contaminated air back into the house. And, and that's where the J or the J2 or the, that, that's where the tube is that we watch the to J2 make sure that the, in the house. fan's on or fan and everything's okay. Right? Usually the J2 should be invisible inside the house somewhere yeah. and then the fan should be exterior. Okay. So that way the home the homeowner can easily check it. Yes. Yeah. And it runs like a bathroom fan. Mm -hmm. It costs a little, about, about as much same amount of money as a bathroom. So it would have its own independent power source? Yes. Own it, circuit. Should, it should be done by a licensed electrician, and they should run a circuit from the panel all the way to, there's a little box, and it, that's the control box. Okay. You know, and it has an off non switch. Usually it's a little uh, exterior, watertight. I'm not an electrician, so I'm not right. doing all the proper terminology. Right. But it's exterior electrical equipment. Yeah. Well, so, you know, for something that is potentially life-threatening and dangerous the, the the process for detecting it and then and then getting rid of it is, is, is pretty easy it's pretty straightforward yes and yeah and it's not terribly expensive for the homeowner no. so yeah but anything else we need to know about radon <laughs> test your house <laughs> yeah, test your house there you go there you go all right guys so we hope that that helps you understand a little bit about radon how it's uh tested for it and then how it's gotten rid of. I appreciate you guys coming in today and, and, and talking with me about it. Um, hopefully this will help you at home. Uh, when you watch the video, it'll clear up any questions that you have. Feel free to give these guys a call. They're the experts uh, in that. You, Joe, you want to give them your our number? Phone number? Our office number is 812-945-7478. Great. And I'm again, I'm Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. You can reach me at 502-396-4969. Thank you so much for watching this and have a great day. Thank you.